Atsio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. As for me, I trust in the Lord. Let me be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have seen my affliction. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who renew the world through mysteries beyond all telling, grant, we pray, that your Church may be guided by your eternal design and not be deprived of your help in this present age. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Lo, I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The things of the past shall not be remembered or come to mind. Instead, there shall always be rejoicing in happiness in what I create. For I create Jerusalem 
to be a joy and its people to be a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and exult in my people. No longer shall the sound of weeping be heard there or the sound of crying. No longer shall there be in it an infant who leaves but a few days or an old man who does not round out his full lifetime. He dies a mere youth who reaches but a hundred years, and he who fails of a hundred shall be thought accursed. They shall live in the houses they build and eat the fruit of the vineyards they plant. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the netherworld. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime his goodwill. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with the dawn, rejoicing. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You change my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Please stand. Matuwid ang dapat gawin Masamay iwasan natin at tayo ay bubuhayin Ang Diyos ay sa sa atin Atin siyang makakapin The Lord be with you And with your spirit A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John Glory to you, O Lord At the time Jesus left Samaria for Galilee, for Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his native place. When he came into Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him, since they had seen all he had done in Jerusalem at the feast, for they themselves had gone to the feast. Then he returned to Cana in Galilee, where he had made the water wine. Now there was a royal official whose son was ill in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son, who was near death. Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, You may go. Your son will live. The man believed what Jesus said to him and left. While the man was on his way back, his slaves met him and told him that his boy would live. He asked them when he began to recover. They told him the fever left him yesterday about one in the afternoon. The father realized that just at, the sa at, just at that time, Jesus had said to him, your son will live. And he and his whole household came to believe. Now this was the second sign Jesus did 
when he came to Galilee from Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, after yesterday's celebration of Leitare Sunday, which marks the midpoint of our Lenten journey, we are entering today what we could call as the second part of the Lenten season. If before the past three weeks, our readings point to us to the Lenten disciplines of fasting, prayer, almsgiving, if in the past weeks we are being formed to be charitable, to be forgiving, and to be repentant of our sins, beginning today you will observe that our Gospels will be taken from the Gospel according to St. John, and they will help us prepare for Holy Week and the celebration of the Easter Triduum. We will now prepare, this will be our immediate preparation for our participation in the suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus. And in our Gospel today, Jesus heals the son of a royal official. And at the end of the Gospel, the author of the Gospel, St. John, commented that this was the second sign that Jesus did. And so this is not just an ordinary miracle. What Jesus did was a sign. And because it is a sign, it means that the miracle, the healing of the son of the royal official, points to a deeper and greater reality. For that is the nature of a sign. A sign is something that points us to another reality. We see it, we perceive it through our senses, but we are pointed, we are directed to a deeper reality. Now, if the healing of the son of the royal official is a sign, then to which reality does it point? Kung ito'y isang tanda, saan tayo itinuturo ng tanda na ito? This miracle points to us the desire of God to make all things new. The will of God to put everything into order. The will of God to recreate us and to give us life. Kung paano yung anak ng opisyal na ito ay binigyan ni Jesus ng bagong buhay Ganun din ang kalooban ng Diyos. Ang nais ng Diyos para sa bawat isa sa atin, bago at higit na buhay. And this has been revealed by God hundreds of years before Jesus. As we heard in our first reading today, God through the prophet Isaiah tells us of His will. The Lord said, I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The things of the past shall not be remembered or come to mind. God will make all things new. And because God will make all things new, the past will be forgotten. It will not even be remembered. So beautiful is this new world that God will prepare for us that we will totally forget 
the pains and the sufferings of the past. Yan ang kalooban ng Diyos. Isang pagpapanibago ng mundo, pagpapanibago ng ating buhay. At napakaganda ng nais gawin ng Diyos na hindi na natin maaalala pa ang nakaraan. This is God's will and this is God's desire. And this is what Jesus will do through His suffering, death, and resurrection. Through His Paschal mystery, Jesus will make all things new. Ang kaligtasan ay tungkol sa pagpapanibago. Ang kaligtasang hinandog sa atin ng Diyos ay tungkol sa bagong buhay, bagong mundo na inilalaan ng Diyos para sa atin. Salvation is God's way of recreating what sin has destroyed. Salvation is God's way of putting into order what sin has put into chaos. Salvation is God's way of giving new life to what evil has put to death. That is the new heavens and the new earth that God will give us. My dear brothers and sisters, this gives us so much hope, especially as we go through this pandemic and especially as today we mark the first year of the lockdown. God gives us hope. God is telling us, I am making a new heaven and a new earth for you. The former things will pass away. Everything will be new. But the process of cre recreating is not easy. There are pains, there are sufferings, as we are all experiencing now. But we know God is making all things new. We will one day emerge as a new creation, a new world, a new humanity. My dear brothers and sisters, let us be excited to the new heavens and the new earth that God is preparing for us. Please stand. Confident that we, when we pray with faith to God the Father, He will respond to our request with open-hearted generosity. We now present before Him our needs, and for every petition we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the Church throughout the world may be a symbol of Christ's healing work, by her care for those who are sick in body, mind, and spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That doctors, nurses, and those who care for the sick may show the compassion and gentleness of Jesus in caring for the least of his brethren. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That this season of Lent may be a time of healing and reconciliations for families and communities of people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and the suffering may receive comfort and support from their families, friends, and neighbors, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our beloved dead may enjoy forever the reward of their faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our own petitions. We remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass.
Heavenly Father, help us to go on trusting you and to have faith in the healing power of your Son, who binds up all our wounds. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May we receive, O Lord, we pray, the effects of this offering dedicated to you, so that we may be cleansed from old earthly ways and be renewed by growth in heavenly life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim holy holy holy, holy lord, lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest please kneel you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us ask the Father to forgive our sins and to bring us to forgive those who sinned against us. Our, our Father, Father, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand.
Let us pray. May your holy gift, so Lord, we pray, give us life by making us new, and by sanctifying us, lead us to things eternal, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Renew your people within and without, O Lord, and since it is your will that they be unhindered by bodily delights, give them, we pray, perseverance in their spiritual intent through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Yeah.